Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. Well, the last episode we were kind of playing around with the idea of going into this factory over here, but then um, everybody got all hostile towards us and they're all looking for us, so I think we're going to have to come back for that one later. It's like, uh, you know, one of the harder one of the harder ones to do. Uh, it is uh, danger very high. Uh, there's plenty of other things to do around here uh, without us having to do a very high danger thing. Um, these these guys over here are of such high level that I can't sneak up behind them and knock them out, which is pretty much my main MO. So we will come back to there later when I have, uh, when I'm a higher level. So at the end of the last episode, we saw this guy lying here. It looks like this is some kind of like fight club thing going on here. Like they've been maybe fighting in this little circle, I don't know. But uh, let's uh, let's read this archived conversation between Joshua Popeye Malval and Jessica Brown. Popeye says, You got anything on that sixer? Because my training's hitting peak. Yo, listen, I know you want the animal's respect back and all, but locking horns with this guy ain't the way. Jesus, I only lost one fucking fight ever, and that was fucking Rhino. Have some fucking faith. Not what I'm getting at. I asked around the city. Apparently this guy served in a commando unit. Seems he fought for Militech in South America. Joined up with 6th Street when he got back, and I heard they don't let him out much. When he smells blood, something in his brain snaps. And does he eat his cereal every morning with orphan blood? Huh? What the fuck? Apparently, seems, I heard, it's all fucking rumors. I ain't gonna let some fairy tale spook me. Just tell me where to find him. They have a place on Arroyo, a place where they train new recruits. That's the answer I was looking for 20 messages ago. Keep your ear to the streets for big news, because I'm about to pulpify a living legend. Maybe I'll get to meet Boogeyman Smasher too, and we'll swap autographs. Oh, fuck off, Pop. Just be careful. So this guy sounds like he wanted to try to get back in uh, with the animals by beating somebody up in the 6th Street gang. And uh, you see right here that things did not go so well for him. Oh, I can't scan him. But uh, I'm going to help myself to all these uh, beverages here and food items. Why? I don't know, man. That's some Euro dollars there. That's pretty cool. 71 Euro dollars. I'll take that. Well, now we find ourselves way over here on this side of town. Ah. Um, in large part because this is where uh, Claire dropped us off so unceremoniously after we won that race. Can't believe she did that to us, man. Just dropped us off here in the middle of nowhere. So, let us, uh, I don't know, let's look at our map and see if anything's going on nearby. Well, there's, um, oh, there's another fight over here I'm not interested in. Here's a side job with high danger. Uh, over here is a vehicle for sale. Here's just a question mark, also very high. So am I in like a harder part of the town or something? Because everything's very high danger over here. It's kind of starting to look that way, isn't it? Um, let's take a look at um, our actual quests here. Main jobs, side jobs... This is um, another race here. I guess we'd need to wait another day for Claire to contact us if we want to do that. Fool in the Hill, that's just finding all the graffiti. Uh, shoot to Thrill, that's going to the shooting range. Tune up, Delamain HQ. Let's see how far away this is. Delamain HQ is, uh, I guess it's not terribly far away. Let's go do this one. Let's see what this is all about. Let's get over here uh, to the road. And uh, we'll call our vehicle. Look at that big round building right there. I don't know what that is. It's like maybe a stadium or something. Oh man. I don't like these doors that look like doors, but you can't do anything with them. Is there a street over here? Oh, look at this. 666th. That's interesting.
Hmm, what's over here? Somebody's got a little, little camp set up here. We're gonna help ourselves to this max dock. I mean, it's just sitting here. All right, well, let's call our vehicle and uh, go pay a visit to Delamain. Why not? Um, we'll ride the bike. <laughs> Cracks me up how the thing stops. All right, let us hop on and uh, we'll go to Delamain. Man, I swear the car handles better than this thing does sometimes. Seems like it has a tighter turning radius than a motorcycle, for crying out loud. showed up there for just a moment on the right. I don't know if you saw that, but we'll just keep on moving. Vista Del Rey. Motorcycle has so much inertia. Now. Dicky Twister. All right, here we are, Delamain HQ. What is up with this place? Huh. Okay, there we go. Just trying to figure out how to get off, get off the motorcycle there. My lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. What's going on? So kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information. Fuck you, Cirk Brain! What's the deal, dude? What's going on, man? Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. <laughs> now we need to talk to a receptionist. We'll just move up here to the front of the line. What's up, Delamain? Uh, hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey, he was Austin nine. <laughs> well, now I'm in the front. Well, now I'm in front. That a problem? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Hear about the accident. Hello, sir. What's got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. Um, Who? I don't know, man. I want to talk to Delamay. Listen, I want to talk to Delamay. You are currently being assisted. Whoa. Whoa. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Um... My ride took a real beating. Actually a little Mr. heartbroken about my damaged ride. But I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. Okay. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for hmm. the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No. Yeah, don't mind at all, dude. Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. Okay, I'm gonna follow the drone. You drones can stay out here. Target's not hackable. I'm fully... Please follow the what? drone. Alright. 
I'm following the drone. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. Oh. This corridor links the shop to the office. Ep ep epistrophe? Follow that drone. Here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. Cool. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Um, you don't need a control room. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. Okay, what's with all the lights then? All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. <laughs> discretion matters why. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Hmm. Okay. Sure, I'll help you. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner hmm. with decryption capability on your person. Hmm. Do I have such a thing? I don't know. Alright, I'm supposed to take a device. Maybe this will give me the... Yeah, Delamain scanner. Okay, we'll take that. Ooh, signal strength. Alright. Man, I don't know what epistrophe means. I'm not familiar with this word. Can we talk to him again? We cannot. So we've got this quest here. Cars didn't talk back in my day, and now this one wants to give you a job. What a time to be alive. What are you waiting for? Alright, let's, uh, let's leave the garage. So he said the green dots are vehicles he's in contact with. I don't... Okay, I guess I do see green dots on here. Okay, so there's a lot of greens and a lot of reds. Laptop over here. Ooh, what's this? Huh, ah, Delamain. Well, I guess we're not getting in there. It's just a door, according to my scanner. Ooh, what's over here? I'm sure Delamain wouldn't mind if we helped ourselves to 188 euro dollars. So that money that he transferred to us earlier was a f good amount. It was over 3,400 uh, euro dollars that he transferred to us. Going on back here. Aw oh, man, locked door. Dog on it. Wish I had the ability to unlock locked doors. What's upstairs? Taking my own tour of the place. Oh, look at this. There's a ladder that goes down. See what's down here. Mm, we got an interesting looking door that we can't do anything with, but if you look, 
On my mini-map, there is a hallway there, and then there is actually a green circle there indicating a friendly. I don't know if that's the little robot that's flying around, or whether that's Delamain himself on the TV screen, I don't know. This is certainly interesting. What is... What the heck? Look at this place. Interesting. Well, I got another ladder here. Yeah, let's let's uh see what's up here. Can I open this? No? I can't open that? It's a grate. Oh great. I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Well, I wonder if this is gonna come into play later on. Like we're gonna need to uh I don't know, find a back way in here. Uh, is it possible that Delamain could be an enemy, and uh, we would need to use that to um, sneak into this place? I don't know, man. I'm intrigued, though. Let's go up these stairs, see what's up here. Yeah, it looks like um, another way to get into that room if we weren't invited. What's this? Industrial shutters. Okay. Oh, a bunch of cars out here. Okay. Just Euro dollars sitting around. I'm sure they won't mind if we take those. Locked door. Okay, a bunch of cars. Interesting. Can we get out of here? got a door here that I can't do anything with this gate and then over here huh, interesting can't do anything with this either so I can't get out strange hmm all right well let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here now that I've taken this little tour of the place can't go through that door Whatever that is, I can't pick it up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. How the hell am I going to get out of here? <laughs> Looks like there's a room up there. We came in from up there, I think, through the shutters. Oh, here's that grate that we saw. <laughs> Whoa! Well, for just a moment, I was outside of my body. Okay, this whole thing is weird. Whew, that was that kind of creeped me out. Thought there was somebody standing there for a moment. Well, let's go back up these steps, I guess. Well, this whole place is bizarre. Delamain cab. It's locked. The car's formidable engine accelerates in a flash, while its reinforced body, created in partnership with Militech, ensures a greater sense of safety and security on the road. Are these cars running? It's like this exhaust in here. What's this? It's gotta be. Trauma team had no reason to move in. What's this? Huh. 
don't know what that was we just heard. Well, at least I can get into this room. Hmm. Let's help ourselves to a fair amount of Euro dollars. And um, even more. Just sit here and rob Delamine while he asks us for help. Oh, come on. I can't get out that door? <laughs> what the hell, man? Like I'm trapped in here. Ooh. I guess I could climb up here. And then... Climb here. Climb up here? Yeah. Okay. Then I could drop back down here and get through here again. Okay. Well, that was an interesting little side trip. Yep, sure enough, the green dot is this guy right here. He just sat there and waited for us patiently. He's telling me the way out is over here, but I don't think I can get out this door. I think this is this door will take us into that garage we were just in. And uh, I can't seem to go through that door. I'm not sure the game realizes that. We'll try to go out the way we came in. Here's another door. This one we can open. Just takes us right back into the garage. More doors I can't get through. Yet to be fully assembled. It appears Delamain is expanding its his services to include aerial cabs. Okay. Cool. It's back here. Some kind of office or control room. Huh. Well, let's uh, use this terminal here. Oh, a code. Hmm. Well, if you saw just a moment ago, we could try to hack it. Hack. Um. Oh, I guess I hacked it. Okay. That was easy. Messages. Holiday bonus funds frozen. From Diana J. To everybody at Delamain Corp. Dear colleagues, on behalf of the board, I regret to inform you that the funds for this year's holiday bonus have been frozen indefinitely. This was a difficult but necessary action due to the large upsurge in settlement payments. Please know this was a difficult decision for all of us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Best, Diana Jones. A well-earned holiday surprise. Dear team, I am very pleased to announce this year's holiday bonuses have been upgraded to include coupons redeemable at any All Foods store location. This was made possible by the great success of process automation we've implemented throughout the year, which has led to financial results well above our year start estimates. To mark the occasion, the door to our AI's core will be open today, so we hope you stop by to enjoy the holiday decorations and to offer your congratulations to our employee of the year. Okay. Repair drones rollout. Dear team, Today we're pleased to announce the start of the next stage in our modernization plan. We are beginning the rollout of repair drones in our shop. And because many of you have asked, we'd like to emphasize that none of your jobs will be put at risk as a result of this latest restructuring. Thank you and good luck, dear former associates. I would like to personally thank you for your years of dedicated work. Without you, this company would never have riven, risen to become Night City's premier cab service. Your severance packages have already been transferred to the appropriate accounts. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, Delamain. Huh. So this one says nobody's going to lose their job. This one's about severance to former associates. This one's about, oh, you're not going to get a holiday bonus. And this one's about, you're going to get a holiday surprise. There's no dates on these, so I don't know what order they're in. Finance report summary. 
Our cost-benefit analysis of the last three years clearly demonstrates how staff cutbacks and investments in shop autom automation have yielded a positive impact on financial results. Lower expenditures in fixed costs and compensation for damages have allowed for the necessary surplus to make major investments in fixed asset modernization. The largest of which, a modernized control room, will allow the company to better maximize vehicle efficiency and coordinate traffic management systems. Our financial forecasts pre predict a return on investment within the next 14 months. Why is this changing down here? Look, there's three items down here and then... Well, of course, I won't do it now. But, oh, skip ahead. Skip ahead? I'm not listening to anything. Uh, local network. Oh, double doors. Well, I can't seem to do anything with these. Skip ahead. I don't know. Well, that's uh, very peculiar. Oh, what's these? Chrome Knight Love. Mutant by Moonlight. Well, somebody's been in here reading books. Uh, the Green Death. Have I seen The Green Death? The weathered man peered into the eyes of the young nomad as if trying to divine his thoughts. Uh, yes, we did read that one. I do remember that. Uh, we got some doors here that I think that... Um, this thing was supposed to open double doors. Um, I mean, locked double doors. I don't know how to interact with this to get it to open the doors, but uh, I can't seem to unlock them. So I don't really know what this screen here is for, really. But uh, unfortunately, I can't unlock those double doors. Oh. Well, this is... Um, this area again. Peace. Yep, can't get through any of these doors. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave. Goodbye. So, we're supposed to find the Delamain cab in Well Springs. And. How far away is Well Springs? So it looks like we've got all these epistrophe uh, jobs that are now showing up as part of this Delamain thing. A bunch of them, it looks like. Wow, a lot of them, huh? So I would expect to be looking in this direction and see a marker telling me how far away this Wellsprings cab is. Holy cow, how many of these are there? Damn. Oh, okay. One and a half kilometers in that direction, I see. So, we've got all these uh, different uh, jobs here that have just shown up. We're supposed to find uh, cabs in different parts of town. Yeah, so there's seven of them to find. Re-establish connection between Delamain and his divergent forms. So, as far as which one of these is the closest to us, I don't know. Side job, very high danger. Very high, very high. Very high, very high. Not too interested in these very high danger jobs, I don't think. But, um, yeah, man. So the Glen, if I track it, that one is uh, looking f sort of far away. I kind of like to find out which one of these is the closest, but I don't know if there's an easy way to do that, right? Yeah, there's one up here, North Oak. Yeah, these, these might be the closest ones. Um, 
Yeah, they might be. Why is this one a different I guess because that's a main quest, huh? Um, the Glen. If we go back out here, Call the Netwatch hotline immediately. Cab is 1.4 kilometers away. Let's do one of these. Let's see what this is like. So he said something about scanning to make sure that we could decrypt. I don't know if we can, but we'll find out. Missed my turn. Right, it is straight ahead. Interesting. Huh. Guess, uh, it's good old sunlight, huh? V, not like I'd be afraid of riding shotgun with you or anything, but put some practice in before the next race, okay? Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, the champion has spoken. How's your aim? Or, hey, you consider me a menace on the road? Um, you consider me a menace? I'm texting while riding. If anyone's a menace on the road, it's me. You just get us to the finish line in one piece. Uh... Come on, that's just how I drive. It's part of my style. Haha. -ha. That's why I love you. But seriously, practice. Fine. I don't really know what she means by that. How am I supposed to practice? Just simply by driving around? Okay. Ooh. Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamay network vehicle nearby. We'll do. Okay, so I'm just supposed to look around for it. Okay, but then it's going to tell me exactly where it is. There's that big round building again. I guess that's the same one. Oh, there it is right there, I think. Signal strength. Oh, my okay, answer. Have you come to finish me off? <gasps> no. Just here to reset you. I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. I'm not out to hurt you. But I am. Why would you do this? Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. Hmm. You don't have to jump, dude. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. <laughs> Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Hmm. Of all things, daddy issues. Come on, man. Suicide isn't a way out. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think. The world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. <laughs> okay, wait for Delamain to call. Was that it? Okay, Delamain's calling. Control of the vehicle restored. Oh, okay. And I thank you. 
Okay. I'll show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. <laughs> I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. What do we get? Give me some money. Oh, I guess I missed it. Okay, totally missed that. If he gave me money, I didn't see it. So the car is still sitting there, which is a little disappointing. Oh. <laughs> I was uh, hoping to see it, like, just, you know, back up off the ledge and drive away, but uh, I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, look at the city from here. That is really cool looking. Really cool. Well, um, let's see what happens with the next car. We're already on our bike. Let's go for a ride. Oh, it's just a motorcycle, you bunch of wusses. Jeez. Look at this thing floating in the air over here to the left. It's floating... Oh, now it's not floating anymore. This is cool. Get some bridges going over the water here. Looks like a freaking roller coaster over there. What is that? What is that over there? Hold on, I need to know what this is. What am I looking at over there? You better run. Oh, another call. You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll have a look around. Yeah, but I want to see what this is over here first. Oh no! No! Is that is that a roller coaster? Call in Max Call in Max Huh. Interesting. Let me hop off of this thing here. Oh, okay, Regina Jones is answering now, or calling us. Hey, a gunfight broke out in a cafe on the waterfront. See what's going on over there, okay? Kind of busy. If it's a cyber psycho problem, I want that problem to stay alive. Yeah, yeah. All right, I wanted to get my weapon out. Take a look over there. I guess that's an amusement park. That's cool. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so, um, I want to look at the map. I guess there's like an amusement park on this pier. As a matter of fact, it's kind of like a roller coaster here. So, this the game's done that weird thing where uh, the controller's freaking out. I don't know why it does that. But it's like it gets confused if I try to use the controller and the mouse at the same time. Maybe it calmed down, hopefully. Because I like to have the option of using my uh, controller to drive the vehicles. So Regina sent us a message here. Let's see what she says. Uh, Cyber Psycho Sighting Seaside Cafe. A popular cafe with a beautiful view of the ocean, usually crowded at this hour. It acquired cult notoriety after Saigon Sisters was filmed there, and it's Hune's favorite eatery. Poor thing, lying in a coma after an allergic reaction to tannins. Anyway, cafe's booked now for some bougie reception. A few of the guests already arrived, and the newlyweds were getting their stills taken. That's when it all started. Guess someone seriously objected to this holy matrimony. Um, I mean, let's um, let's do the Delamain cab thing first. If I can get to it. Look at this traffic. It's one of the good things about being on a bike. Just cruise right past all the traffic. I mean, look at this part of town. It feels a lot different than the other parts of town I've been in. Whoa, right here. Oh, am I going to chase this guy? See, I cannot turn sharply on this thing. Lost him. Okay, so this cab is freaking out.
going to take us on a wild ride. What am I supposed to do? Stay close to the cab. Okay. Let's talk. I'm not going back. Hear me? Never. Try to take me and I'll crush you. Let's see who crushes oh, who. Jeez. Damage the car to deactivate it. Okay. Can I shoot? Ouch. Stop running over me. So I'm supposed to damage the car. I mean, I guess I do that by shooting at it, or is it going to drive away? Well, let's see here. What kind of... Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. Oh, come on. I don't have any weapon in slot number two. I don't want to use my sniper weapon for this. Let's use... Um, what do I have? Do I have a shotgun? Power submachine gun? Oddly enough, the pistol does the most DPS. I mean, I guess I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Damaging the car. Okay. Wait for Delamain to call. Okay. Answer it again. How fortunate. I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your Okay, account. that time we got eleven hundred and forty uh Euro dollars. So at least that time I saw it. So now this car is just gonna sit here in the middle of this intersection blocking everybody off. <laughs> okay. So that was somewhat interesting, I guess. Um, but while we're here, there was that thing that, uh, Regina wanted us to do. Let's see here. It's, uh, well, where is it? It's going to be under gigs. Seaside Cafe. Ooh, danger very high. Oh, you know what? We can come back to that one later when the danger isn't so high anymore. Um, oh, you know, I wasn't even reading these right here. So the text for this Glen one uh, was, ah, the Glen. You know this used to be a college campus? Some thought that taking out colossal loans and enrolling in a biotech degree would make their lives better. Then the harsh reality kicked in. It was easier to throw yourself off a bridge than to get into a corporate research lab. Makes you wonder why our rogue Delamain cab chose this place of all places. And then the one we just did, Wellsprings. Head to Wellsprings to find one of Delamain's missing vehicles or, or go save yourself from impending death. Up to you. All right. Um, and then there's still a bunch more of these. I think North Oak was the one that it was telling me was next. Find the Delamain cab in North Oak. A taxi in distress calls for a hero like you, V. If you want to become a legend, set out on this quest for ultimate glory. The afterlife awaits. The afterlife? I don't want to go to the afterlife. So this one is... Wow, this one's really, really far away. Surely there's one closer than that. 2.9 kilometers? Gee whiz. Um, co this one, Coast View, is... 1.2 kilometers away. That's not too bad. Let's do that one. Let's get out of the street here. As if traffic wasn't bad enough, we just disabled that cab in the middle of the street. Got me. Motorcycles the way to travel around this place. Coast view. Don't 
don't think we've been to this part of town yet. The fuck you want? <laughs> okay. So it's gonna be somewhere around here. Hmm. Ooh. There's a tarot card over here. Let's uh, go do that right now. Since we're sitting here, the cab can wait. Tell about these guys. Voodoo boys? We're gonna leave them alone. So there's the tarot up there. That's kind of cool. So I have a feeling that Johnny's supposed to say something to us when we see these, but it's not happening. Um, which one did I just look at? Whoops. <laughs> well, okay, get off the screen. Uh, this one here. Alright, go back in here. Tarot. The Hermit. The Hermit is a card of self-imposed isolation. It represents an escape from the hustle and bustle of the city, a turning away from constant newness toward ye old ways. For the Hermit, solitude is the road to the sublime, a road that is taken not with great bounds and strides, but with small, concentrated steps. Yeah, I can be considered a Hermit sometimes. <laughs> Okay. This is cool. Look at this. Neat. These tall buildings here. Pretty neat. Guy kind of look like Johnny. Looks a lot like Johnny. He's even got the hand. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Well, not many have. So, we're supposed to be uh, scanning for something, or... I still don't really know um, what this scanner is that we got. This um, Delamain scanner or, that has a signal strength on it. Are we supposed to be doing something with that? Because if so, I don't know how to use it or where to put it or anything. I have no mods available for that. I have six ocular mods. Some target analysis stuff and a threat detector. Okay. Oh, interesting. If we, if we put this mod on, all of our weapons are non-lethal. Headshots do not deal additional damage. Smart, smart weapons primarily target limbs. This is an upgrade to Kuroshi Optical Cyberware. Interesting. I guess these are all the same. And then we have Threat Detector. Automatically highlights enemies who have detected you. Hmm. So if I equip this... Can I unequip it? Uh, drop. Hmm. It looks like once you've equipped it, it's equipped. That's, uh, that's pretty annoying. What if I wanted to remove this? I guess I can't. I cannot remove this. Period. That's, uh, disturbing. I don't want this on here anymore. I don't want all my weapons to be non-lethal. I mean, not right now, I guess, but... Isn't that strange? Why can't I remove this thing? And as far as dropping something goes, I guess the drop is for this. I could disassemble these. I can't do anything with this. That's strange. Well, crap, now this thing's on here permanently. Unequip. Action blocked. Beats me, man. If you guys know what to do about that, please let me know. But anyway, um, we... We got this piece of inventory here from Delamain. It's, it's a scanner. Which, of course, now I'll never find. And... When we're close to a cab... A signal strength thing comes up, but hell if I know what I'm supposed to do with it, or how I'm supposed to use it. I mean, thus far, 
I've just been lucky um, finding things. Okay, so I've got... Oh, okay, these are these things here. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's up. If you guys know, let me know. That doesn't really make any sense to me. Because I thought we were supposed to scan for the cab. But um, I don't see anything telling me about... Um, you know, signal strength or anything like that. Um, I don't know, man. I have, I have no idea. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. Ranged weapons, melee weapons, attachments, and mods. These are, oh, okay, these I guess we would put on our weapons, maybe? I guess. But I mean, as far as a scanner... Huh. This thing, enemies take 70% more time to notice you while this thing is active. That's kind of cool. These are a bunch of blade things. But as far as the thing that Delamain gave us... Hell if I know where it is. This is all the junk I had? I have all that stuff I picked up? Man, I don't know. I have no idea. So, thus far I've just been lucky and just found the uh, cabs just by riding around. It's pure luck, really. So, I don't really know where the cab is or how big my search area is. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. On high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Okay, somewhere Thanks. in my area. Ice peeled. Ice peeled, and then it tells me exactly where it is. Man, this look at this place. What happened here? Looking for like war zone. Oh, now it's telling me this way. Over here? Is it moving? Huh. the hell? Oh, here it comes. Signal strength again. See that? Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Sounds like Gladys. On a scale from one to six? <laughs> I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. I'm here to show you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. <laughs> Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. Uh huh. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> It's Gladys, all right. Okay, well, I'm just supposed to stay within signal range. That's what I'm doing. It's gonna take me on the, the tour of this part of town. Oh, where are you taking me? Freaking ambush. Nope. Oh. Didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Don't. I'll Crap, I think I have this thing that makes uh, my weapons non-lethal. Hmm, well that sucks. I was sitting there on my bike and when I pulled up next to the car, I don't know if I got stuck in something or the game just simply wouldn't let me ride away, but I couldn't move forward or backwards on the bike. I had to get off. 
So, so I'll oh, we're back here again. Hand. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> all right, we'll pick this up in the next episode. I need to end this one now. Um, <clears throat> pretty strange. Pretty strange. Let's see what happens in the next episode. Thanks so much for joining me on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.